Greetings from the American Diabetes Association's 73rd Scientific Sessions, the largest diabetes meeting in the world. I'm Anna Baker here in Chicago with the Association's President for Medicine and Science, Dr. John Anderson. Welcome to Chicago. Anna, thank you. Now, I understand that you're giving a very special lecture later this week. Can we have a little preview of the topic? Yes, on Sunday, I'll be talking about the epidemic. Are we ready to meet the challenge? Mm -hmm. You know, everyone has talked about the diabetes epidemic, but I wanted to focus on what are we going to do about it? And are those of us in the room really prepared to meet the challenge? Mm -hmm. And so we're going to talk about primary care. We're going to talk about endocrinology. We're going to talk about research and how all of us are working together to bring solutions to people with diabetes. Well, I'm sure a lot of people will be very interested in that lecture. Now, for 2013, uh, on the whole, what are your goals as president? Well, as always, as president of this association, it is about finding more money to fund research. Always. Mm -hmm. Not only trying to raise more money at the American Diabetes Association and fund research, but also to lobby NIH to fund more diabetes research. I think that's a primary goal of any president. But as the first primary care president of the association, mm -hmm. I want to focus on the 90 percent of individuals who take care of people with diabetes and make sure that they have a seat at the table and make sure that we as an association are reaching out to them. Because ultimately, the care of people with diabetes, early screening, early detection, prevention efforts, and then good care at the beginning of a person's diabetes has enormous impact later. Oh, that really is an important message. Thank you so much for your time and have a great week in Chicago. Anna, thank you. I'm Anna Baker reporting from McCormick Place in Chicago at the American Diabetes Association's Scientific Sessions. For more interviews, stay tuned to diabetes.org slash breaking news. Thank you.